So we will first solve the most special case, the third case, in which the maximum subarray crosses the midpoints. Okay. All right. So because this is not a smaller instance of the original problem, well, there's no way to solve it in recursive style. Okay. And we need to carefully look at the problem. We just mentioned that the subarray that crosses the midpoints itself um, consists of two parts. The first part is the left half from index i to mid and the right half from mid, from mid plus one to j. Okay, so uh, if you look at the shadow part the, the, in the dark gray color, these are the two parts of the maximum subarray here. Okay, so we use a um, procedure defined in this way. Let's call this procedure uh, find max crossing subarray. Okay, so this procedure is specifically to solve to find the subarray that cross the midpoint. So this is a very special procedure that solves this particular type of problem. Okay, and we will carefully analyze the this all the pseudocode in the next page. Okay, so show the code here. Um, look at the inputs. We have A, the input array, the low start index, mid, the midpoint, and high, the end index, right? So initially we define some variable called, uh, some uh, variable called left sum, right? Initialized to infinity, negative infinity. And the sum is also initialized to zero, okay? So basically we have two for loops, right? A first for loop right here is part, second for loop right here, right? And we are uh, returning three values, the max left, max right, and the summation of left sum plus right sum, okay? And let's look at uh, the goal of each line of the code, right? So the left sum is used to hold the greatest sum found so far for the left half, right? Remember the left half is from index low to mid, okay? So that left sum is for the greatest sum within the left half, okay? So this for loop is iterating from midpoint to the low, which is the starting index, okay? So in such a way, it examines every sub array in the left half, right? And in each iteration, it accumulates the elements into the temporary variable called sum, right? Whenever it meets a element, a i, it adds that element, the value of that element into sum. If the summation is greater than the current value of left sum, it will update left sum by assigning sum to left sum. And then also updates the uh, index maxed left which is the current index of the iteration, okay? So the left sum should record the greatest uh, uh, summation within the left half. And max left indicates the corresponding index. And the similar uh, function, similar goal is achieved by the second for loop, which applies to the right half. Okay, and the for loop iterates from mid plus one to high. Okay, so and the return code will return the indices max left and the max right that indicates the maximum sub area and its summation, its sum of the values. Okay, so if we count a little bit the number of how many iterations are uh, going through. Uh, the first for loop iterates over 
mid minus low plus one, which is uh, basically uh, all the um, elements in the left on the left part of the original input. And the second for loop iterates over all the elements on the right. So altogether, they iterates over all the elements in the input array, right? Which is uh, indicated by the number n. Okay, so this information would help us to infer that the whole procedure find max crossing sub array will take big theta of n time because it is just a in linear running time. It is no difference than a for loop that iterates from the very beginning to the very end. It just splits the for loop into two half, the left for loop, the right for loop, right? There's no big difference. All right, we have solved the most special case. And for the other two cases, we can simply re, um, use the recursive call to solve them. So altogether, we can implement divide and conquer uh, algorithm for finding the maximum sub array quite easy. Okay, we already have the find max crossing sub array at hand, so now we can go ahead and implement find maximum sub array. Okay, so the final uh, implementation looks like this way um, we have inputs from uh, in of inputs A, the, uh, the array A, the starting index and index. And if <clears throat> the high equals low means that there is only one element. And in that case, we just return the indices and the value of it, right? Because for inputs that has one element, does any sub array itself is the maximum sub array, okay? In other cases, so uh, this is the boundary case or the base case for the recursion to end, right? We, 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 if we want the recursion to uh, end, we need to always have a, uh, a boundary case or base case. If it is not the base case or it is the recursive case, recurrent case, then we should use, uh, for first compute the midpoint in this way and First, we, from line four to five, right, we will conquer the left half by calling the mind, of, by calling the find maximum sub array recursively on the left half, right? Notice that the input sequence doesn't change, it's A. And the lower index is low, but the higher index becomes mid because we call the function itself, we call the procedure itself on the left half. Then in the next two lines of code, we conquer the, uh, the right half by calling, this by calling the procedure recursively on the right procedure with mid plus one as the start index and high as the end index. The next step, we solve the uh, special case by calling the uh, maximum, uh, by calling the find max crossing sub every special procedure that we defined in the previous procedure, right? And it takes inputs, takes four inputs, right? And remember that we always need to uh, record or save the, uh, re the return values of the recursive calls and the special case with us because we need to compare them. We need to compare them with some if or else condition statements so that the maximum value and the corresponding indices are returned. Okay, so these uh, if or else code is simply to test which result has the biggest value and then return the corresponding results. Okay, so uh, that's the implementation of the divide and conquer algorithm for the maximum sub-array problem.